Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at this brand new SG1603. Uh, I've got a feeling this is going to be an incredibly popular model in the coming months mainly because it does resemble a very well-known RC that we all know about, and that is the Armour Infraction. Now, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest RC content. Now, from the photos and the videos that I've actually seen of this model, you can quite clearly tell it does resemble the Armour Infraction. It definitely has that vibe to it. Uh, obviously, this is a lot smaller. This is a 1 16th scale model but it's incredibly good looking. Now, just because this actually looks like an infraction doesn't mean it is as expensive. This thing can be had for under $100, uh, which in my opinion is a huge amount of RC uh, for that money. So the first thing we'll do today is actually take a look and see what is included in the box. Uh, after that, we'll take a much closer look at the truck itself because it does have a lot of nice features and we will talk about those in a little bit more detail. Okay, so let's take a quick look and see what you actually get in the box. Now we'll start with the charger. Uh, it is a USB charger. It's pretty, you know, pretty standard stuff that uh, usually comes with these uh, these cheap models. Uh, it is a USB charger, and that does charge the included lithium-ion battery. Uh, and I believe this will also charge a, a normal LiPo as well. So this should get you going. If this is your first ever RC, this you know this will do the job. Uh, we'll take a look at the battery. Uh, it is a 1200 milliamp lithium ion battery, uh, it is not a LiPo, it is actually a lithium ion battery uh, and that is a 2S, uh, it's quite nice. Uh, you do get a set of drift tyres in the box, uh, these are pretty much all plastic compared to the rubber ones. So this does actually come with a little toolkit as well, you do get a screwdriver, uh, some spare links, a little cross wrench there for your wheel nuts and some spare body clips as well. Quite a nice little addition, a lot of ready to run RCs do actually come with a little tool bag such as this. Uh, it's always nice to see and it's also nice to have some spare body clips because if you're anything like me I do lose a lot of them. Okay so taking a quick look at the instruction manual, this is one of the nicer ones I've actually seen. Uh, a lot of the time on these cheap models you do find the instruction manuals are just black and white. This is actually full colour and it is in quite a lot of detail as well. This actually took me by surprise and I do really like the level of detail they've actually gone to with this one. As you can see it is, in, uh, it is printed in full colour. Uh, it does show you what you actually get in the box again. Uh, it also covers pretty much, you know, your basic sort of procedure, how to get yourself up and running, how to charge the battery, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, also covers, you know, all your transmitter settings as well, how to adjust the gyro on the transmitter, how to fit the batteries. You know, this is good for someone who uh, is potentially quite new to, to this hobby or this potentially is their first model. It's definitely going to give you enough information to get you up and running. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. As you can see, it is in a huge amount of detail. So you can actually adjust how you want the LED lights from the actual controller itself. I'm going to show you that in more detail very soon when I actually reveal the truck. Uh, but again, you can see the level of detail uh, they've actually gone to with this uh, is excellent. And again, like I said, this has to be one of the best manuals I've seen on a cheap RC in quite a long time. Everything is set out properly. There's even exploded diagrams with all the part numbers. And uh, yeah, very, very impressed. So very well done, Pinecone models. So finally, taking a quick look at the transmitter then. Now this does feel very, very nice to hold. You do get foam around the steering wheel there, which is always a nice addition. It does help you to uh, get a good grip of it. Uh, general feel, quite nice. Uh, it's quite lightweight. I do actually have the batteries in here already and it still feels uh, quite nice and lightweight. So I do like this a lot. Obviously you've got your uh, gyro settings, your steering trim, steering dual rate, throttle reverse, steering reverse, usual stuff that you would see on a transmitter. Uh, now this is a four channel transmitter. You obviously got your, your throttle and your steering. Uh, you can actually switch the lights on and off from there, I believe, and you can adjust what setting you actually want those to be on uh, from uh, the fourth channel as well. So overall, a very nice transmitter. I think that pretty much covers everything that you actually get included in the box. I think there's only one thing left to do and that is to actually reveal the truck. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now 
Now guys, take a look at this thing. It looks absolutely great. I'm sorry, but for the money, can you really get a better looking RC? This thing looks absolutely amazing. There's such a high attention to detail when it comes to the body. I am very, very impressed with this. You can probably tell, but this is definitely one of the best looking RCs I've ever seen, especially for that price. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually take a look at the LED angel eyes. Now, these are adjustable from the transmitter. There's three different modes. Uh, we're gonna stick a battery in the truck very, very quickly, and we're just gonna cycle through the different modes, and I'm gonna talk about how you actually go about changing them, how you turn them on and off, and uh, I definitely think this is gonna be a massive selling point for this truck because they really do look great. Okay, so as you can see, uh, that is one of the settings you can actually pick, and that's just literally like the red rings. Uh, I really, really like that, really does stand out, and I think that's probably gonna be the option I actually opt to go for uh, when I'm running this. Uh, we can switch to having just the white LEDs, and it actually turns the red off. Uh, again, that looks quite nice, I really like that, and then we can switch to having uh, both the red and the white LEDs on at the same time. Again, looks really, really good, but I think I think that looks the best. That's just my opinion, but I really do think just having the red really does look great. Okay, so like I said, you can actually change all these settings using the transmitter. Uh, if you press this button here, that will turn the lights on and off, as you can see. Uh, and then this is the switch that you use to change uh, your lighting settings uh, and choose which option you wanna go for. So this does also have an LED on the back, which again is switchable, as you can see. You can switch that on and off. Now, I think that's another really, really nice little addition, and it does help to really set this truck off. Now, just as you'd expect, the car is fully proportional, uh, both with the steering and the throttle. Uh, that is definitely something you would expect on a model like this. Uh, it is fully proportional, and it does feature a 17 gram servo, uh, which I believe uh, it does have a power output of about one kilogram. Okay, so this does come with a plastic chassis. It does feature a foam bumper up the front and a very nice rear splitter as well, which does house the red LED. Okay, so we'll take the body shell off. We'll have a little talk about the electronics and we'll also talk about some of the other features uh, that this actually comes with. So let's take a look at what is going on under the body shell. Now, the first thing we notice is a 380 size brush motor on this. That's gonna be more than enough to get us going along at a decent pace, bearing in mind the size and the weight of this vehicle. Uh, like I mentioned before as well, it does feature a 17 gram servo, uh, and it does also have a five wire system, which means if you do decide you wanna change servo on this at a later date, uh, you will have to change all the other electronic components around as well to make this work. Uh, something we've seen on a lot of other budget RCs, and I'm pretty sure that's something we've actually got used to now, which isn't a major issue. Uh, it does feature one of those ESC units, which has the gyro built in, the receiver built in. Again, that is to save space. It does also have a JST connector, something I haven't seen on an RC for quite a while. It does feature a JST connector. Uh, that's potentially something I'll change, change around because I do not run JST connectors on any of my packs. But uh, just while we're actually trying this out, we'll leave it as it is. Um, just looking down into the center of the chassis there, it does ha actually have a metal drive shaft. Uh, it does also have metal dog bones as well. Uh, suspension wise, uh, the shocks aren't oil filled, uh, but this is gonna be absolutely fine because this thing is quite low to the ground. We're not gonna be going over any huge uh, jumps or bumps with this. Uh, so the, this suspension setup is going to work absolutely fine for what we need. Oil field shocks at a later date may be a good idea. I'm pretty sure if they don't actually release a specific set for this vehicle, we could probably find a set of oil field shocks that will fit this, which would be a nice little upgrade. So the tyres that actually come fitted are the rally tyres. They are quite a soft rubber. They do feel very, very grippy, and I do really like those. Now we've covered all the main points. Now I think the best thing we can do now is actually get this ready, take it out for a run and see how it performs. Now I really do have high hopes for this, especially initial impressions. Very, very pleased with the quality of this. Uh, I definitely think if this performs well today, it is gonna be uh, one of the next best cheap budget RCs, especially for 20, uh, 2021. I definitely think it's gonna be up there. So let's not talk anymore. Let's get this thing packed up. We'll head down to my bashing location and we'll see how this thing performs.
Okay, so it's finally time to see how this thing actually performs. Uh, I have got the battery fitted in and we are pretty much ready to go. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually see how fast it is. I think a lot of you are gonna wanna know how fast it is out the box. Now, I don't think this is gonna be the fastest thing we've ever seen uh, because it's not really made uh, to be a speed machine. Uh, this is a drifter and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good at doing just that. Uh, but just just uh, to answer any questions, we will see how fast it is. We'll stick the GPS on there. We'll run it around a few times and we'll see how quick it actually is. Okay, so we've got the GPS set to zero. Uh, we'll run it around a couple of times and we'll see, uh, we'll see what sort of speed we can achieve on this. Okay, so let's have a quick look and see what speed we actually achieved. So we managed 15 miles per hour, which may sound slow, but it's really not what this thing is made for. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in kilometers per hour, but I'll stick the conversion on the screen now, which will uh, give you an idea of how fast this is. Just a question I thought we'd uh, get answered and get that out of the way. Okay, so now we've actually tested out how fast it actually is. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of drifting. We're going to see how this thing performs. Uh, it's, it's worth noting I've never actually had a drift RC before, so I'm not sure how good I'm actually going to be. But even so, we're going to see how this performs today. Uh, and this is the part that I've really been looking forward to. Okay then, so I have got the stock rally tyres on it at the moment. Uh, we will be switching those over to the hard plastic ones, the drift tyres. Uh, but we're going to see how this performs for the moment. I have got the gyro set all the way down. Steering rate is all the way up. I'm going to see if I can actually control this. Now bear in mind, I did say I've never had an RC drifter before. So I'm not sure how this is going to perform or how well I'm actually going to be able to drive this about. Uh, but we'll soon see. Well, it's a lot harder than it actually looks. <laughs> now, already this thing feels like a huge amount of fun. I could definitely see myself using this uh, very often, to be fair. It's not actually that hard to control with the gyro turned down. I'm excited to see how it actually performs uh, with it actually turned up to halfway and then all the way. I'm just sort of getting a feel for it at the moment. Now it is quite slippery today. It's about minus one at the moment. So it's potentially uh, a little bit more slippery this surface than usual. I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to see if I can actually drift around these tyres here. I don't think I'm going to be able to because 
I'm not that good, but we're going to have a go. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks, guys. I've got to be honest, it does. It is a lot harder than it actually looks when you watch other people doing it. Okay, so I am going to turn the gyro up to halfway. Uh, that's going to give us a little bit of extra stabilisation. See if that actually helps or makes a difference. Well, that feels different already. As soon as you take, as soon as you let go of the steering, it does auto correct itself and straighten up and that's sort of already on halfway so this does feel a little bit different now we've actually got the gyro set to pretty much halfway be interesting to see what this is like when it's you know sort of all the way on but this does feel a lot more controllable uh, with the stabilization set to halfway Oh, he's doing well. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a lot better than it was before. Right then, so we'll turn the gyro all the way up. So that is full stabilization now. So every time you let off the steering, it will auto correct itself and straighten up. <laughs> guys this thing is a huge amount of fun i cannot stress how fun this thing actually is i really do think this is the most amount of fun you can have for under a hundred dollars like seriously not only does it look good but it also performs really well uh, the gyro is a nice addition when it's turned all the way up it does feel like you are fighting the steering a little bit it's difficult to explain unless you actually try it uh, it's not a bad thing you can actually turn it down a little bit i think sort of like the mid-range is perfect it's just enough sort of stabilization it does help you to drift around a little bit bearing in mind i'm not very good at drifting this is my first time very very happy with the performance of this truck today um but yeah very very nice and well done because this thing i really do think is going to be one of the best value RCs of 2021 without a doubt and it's definitely going to bridge that gap for anyone who's really craving a infraction <laughs> you can basically have this for a fraction of the cost so uh, it's definitely a worthy RC now just before we actually leave today I am going to fit the plastic drift tires on I just want to see how they perform so while we've still got a little bit of battery left going to get those changed over fit the drift tires on just going to see how they perform on this surface because it like i said it is quite slippery today and this does feel a little bit difficult to control but i just want to see how the drift tires perform Okay, so we're gonna leave it there today. I think I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to with this truck. If there's anything I missed out, then feel free, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I really do think this is gonna be one of the best budget RCs of the year. When it comes to the drift tires, I think I actually preferred the rally tires, but that might just be me and the surface that I'm actually running on. But yeah, I have had a huge amount of fun today. Be sure to head over to Banggood. I have left a link in the description below. So be sure to head over to there. Check this car out. And uh, definitely get yourself one. Because I really do think 
these are going to be extremely popular this year. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the SG1603 in action. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if there's anything you want to know. And as always, like this video as well. And I'll see you again soon on the next video. Take care, guys.